Retro Rob's Gaming Videos. Hey Rob here, and this is one of my most requested videos. It's the GPD XD unbricking video. So if you're watching this, you've probably bricked it. Sorry about that. Don't worry, it happens to the best of us. Uh, just a little pro tip for you guys out there that are maybe having service done by somebody who uh, is going to maybe you know, root your machine and uh, put new firmware on it to make it do all sorts of awesome stuff. That is totally cool. But if you talk to them and they answer that they have never bricked a device and they never will because they're such experts, you run the hell away from them in the other direction. Uh, I've been doing IT for 15, maybe 20 years now. Uh, I brick plenty of crap, <laughs> and you learn a lot from it. Uh, and there's an old saying in IT too, and it's uh, I'd rather be smart than lucky. And unfortunately, uh, a person who's never bricked anything either doesn't have much experience, they're lying to you, or they're lucky, and that ain't good. <laughs> Lucky's just not good in IT because ruck luns out. Did I say luns out? Mm. Anyway, let's get back to the case in point. We're going to cover two conditions. Uh, number one is the condition where you power up your GPD XD. You can see the little gear, the GPD XD logo comes up, and nothing happens after that. Good news for you is that is like the easiest one to fix. Condition two is when you power up and all you get is a red dead light, more green light, or whatever. Uh, that is the harder one to fix. Don't worry, I'm going to cover both in this video, but we're going to start with the easier one. Uh, some prerequisites for the easier one. Uh, first thing you need to do is go to uh, GPD's website. I actually don't even, you know what, you're... What you need to do is make sure you get a fir good firmware. I was going to say go to GPD's website because I'm used to just saying go to the website of the manufacturer because you can trust them. But you can't even trust GPD to actually put out a decent firmware. And since they don't zip it, nor do they include a file checksum, uh, you don't know whether that file they're giving you is good or not. And they could go weeks uh, with a bad firmware and never even know that it's bad. So... Find a good firmware, a known good firmware from a reliable place. I like Dinguity, just throwing it out there. But also note that I have a link down below uh, to a firmware for the GPD. Uh, and that's, uh, I think it's 136. It's 136, 134. I can't remember. It's on the file name. But anyway, I'll link it below. And uh, that one's zipped and good. So make sure you get a zipped one. Make sure you get it from a reliable source. Uh, again, that link might be dead by the time you see this video, though. So I don't know if it'll still be there or not. And the reliable, quote, reliable source keeps changing. So sorry about that. But anyway, you're going to download that. You're going to unzip it. And you are going to put it into the root of a micro SD card. Micro SD card being one of oop, these little guys, okay? You'll need an adapter probably for your computer, either a USB one or a regular one. You probably have one of those if you are a GPD fan anyway, because uh, they tend to give them away free with it anyway. Uh, but anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to copy it the uh, the image file .img file to the very root of this SD card. Now, by by root, I mean you're just going to drop it on there. No subfolders, no nothing. You just want the raw file. It should be an .img file. Should not be a .zip. All right, they're always named the same. By the way, uh, it's wait. Let me uh, take a look real quick on the file. It is update.img. Anything else will probably not be identified by the system. All right. Man, 45 minutes of that crap. All right, so you have copied the IMG file to your SD card. You have placed the micro SD card into your GPT, GPD XD. I had way too much coffee. Now what do you do? Well, what you do in this particular case is make sure it's absolutely off. Uh, I'm pressing at the exact same time both the start button and the volume up button. Notice how I'm doing it with one finger. Eh, like a boss. And here comes the screen. And in a moment, it should enter the Android Recovery Console. There we go. All right, let's zoom in on the uh, Android Recovery Console. By the way, if you're here, <laughs> you're coming back from this, most likely. 
99% chance you're coming back from this uh, after you follow the next step. All right, let's get it on screen and show you how to do it. Okay, so now I am in the Android recovery console. Uh, if you look, and I'm sorry, this is probably a little bit blurry. You might not be able to see it really well, but uh, the first option is reboot system, apply system update from ADB is the second one. Uh, that one is if you're connected via a cable. Uh, the third is apply update from external storage, which is the one we would want if we had dropped it onto an SD card. So I would then hit the power button once selecting that and you use the volume up and volume down buttons to change selections in the menu. Okay, I would hit the power button and then it would apply the update from external storage and assuming you have a good update, you will now have unbricked your Android. Really easy. That would have been a really easy fix. That's the, that's the nice one, honestly. All right, so if you're still with me, that means you have the second bricking type, which is when you just have the little power light that comes on. Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through fixing that, but you're gonna need some things first. And the first thing you're gonna need is one of these, a data cable. And now, note that a lot of people think that their charging cable is a data cable, and it generally is. However, there is a significant number of cables that just do charging and no data. So make absolutely 100% sure by testing with another device that you can hook up and transfer data with your transfer cable because you'd hate to think it was completely bricked when you just used the wrong cable. All right, uh, basically what you will do in this case is you're going to plug it in with to your computer with the data cable, but you're gonna need three pieces of software. Number one, of course, is the update image file, which I mentioned earlier. You can have that sitting in a folder in your hard drive. You're gonna need the driver assistant, at least version 4.2 from Rockchip Software. Don't worry, I've got a link down below. Uh, if you look at Rockchip's site, I'll try and give you a link over to that too. You can download it from their download section. Uh, the third thing you're going to need is Rockchip's batch tool. That is the thing that actually does the update. Uh, if you look right here, uh, I'm trying to remember what the version is, but if you get the wrong version, just so you know, it won't work. Uh, you can, just as long as you got the latest version, you should be okay. And by the way, I, of course, I'm linking the batch tool that I used from my Google Drive so you can download it. One thing about the batch tool, actually, we'll talk about that when you get to it. All right. Let's start from the beginning. You got your pieces of software downloaded, right? You now plug in your GPD XD and you're gonna turn it on until its light comes on. Now hold on a second. In this case, I gotta trick this a little bit and plus I got a really short cable and you're gonna see me kinda get off screen a little bit, so sorry about that. Let's see, right, plug it in. What was I thinking? What was I thinking with that? Uh. I think I just used, <laughs> I actually just used a known bad data cable for this, which is funny because I set this up beforehand. There we go. There's a known good. Uh, it's kind of funny because uh, I pointed out the importance of using the right cable and I have the wrong cable sitting right at my desk. So happens to everybody. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is plug this into my computer, uh, USB to USB, of course. And then I am going to start up my GPD XD until that little light comes on. Now, uh, in the case of mine, I'm doing something a little bit special, so it'll take a little bit longer here so that I can get it to show up like a dead GPD XD would. Well, may. Uh, there's several ways that might happen. There, I think we got it. All right. It appears to be in the right mode now. So. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice is if you go into devices, uh, you probably don't have a valid device for it, which is fine. See that unknown device? No worries, little exclamation mark. Well, we're going to fix that first. We're going to go into that recovery directory we made, and we're going to use the driver assistant from Rockchip to install the driver. Might show up in Chinese. I'm not going to worry about that in this case. Uh, it's in English here, but. If it shows up in Chinese, this one's the install driver, this one's the uninstall, you want to install the driver. Install driver, okay. And out of there. 
Now you could just update this. Uh, what I generally do is, uh, you, eh, I'm not gonna do that. I unplug it and I plug it back in. So I go like this and then I'm gonna plug it back in. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Takes a couple seconds, sorry about that. And yes, that was my GPD XD popping. My poppin' fresh GPD. Again, sorry so long, I kinda gotta trick things in. But what you may see is class for rock USB devices and a little question mark that is absolutely okay don't worry about that that is fine this is all you need to get there uh, in some cases you might also see Android device but don't worry about either one this is fine not great but fine all right so now we know it is actually talking to the computer the next thing we want to do is we want to run the batch tool uh, so we can get an update going now a note this will probably show up in Chinese for some of you if you download it off a rock chip site. So the first thing you wanna do is look for the line that says selected. Uh, this is the language section. We wanna make sure that it says two instead of one. By default, it's one, which is the Chinese language, which is a pain in the butt, unless you actually read Chinese. And then you're gonna to wanna to just do a save. Uh, and once it says two, it's okay. It'll come up in English. First thing you wanna do though, all right, so let's start the batch tool, hit yes. Okay, what you wanna see is connected devices. And you wanna see one. If you don't see anything, that's it. I mean, that's all uh, That's all you can do. You can try uh, reinstalling the drivers, uh, powering it up a couple different ways, and just seeing if you can get it to here. Mine actually took a couple swings before I could get it to connected drivers. Uh, note that the Rock, uh, the Rock Chip batch tool version is 1.8, 1.7, uh, I wasn't able to get it to show up in. So make sure it's version 1.8 at least. Again, there's a link down below to my Google Drive with a zipped copy of that. Firmware path. I'm gonna hit those little dots right there. And uh, what I did is I browsed to the folder that I unzipped everything into. And there is my update.img file. Exact same one you should be doing for updates. Again, make sure that's a good one. Uh, if, one of a, if a firmware bricked it, you might wanna download a different firmware okay don't try and do the same thing twice unless it was like a power off situation or something crazy happened that's fine all right almost done here if you're this far you stand a good chance on bricking now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit upgrade i'm not going to hit that button because remember it might clear all the data off my system but once you hit upgrade what it will do is after about i think it, i think it took about a half hour for mine uh it will finish and then it will reboot your system and you will be back to original. Another thing you can try too, I think I had one that said that uh, it already had that firmware on there that I was upgrading to. So what I did is I dropped back to an older firmware and then I went back up. So don't forget that you can also do that. Unfortunately, I don't have a link to older firmware, but uh, the Dinguity forums definitely do. All right, so again, all you're gonna do now is hit the upgrade button and once it writes it through, your GPD XD will be back in shape to play another day. Thank you very much for watching this video. If it was helpful to you, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. We're going to have more GPD games coming up. Uh, more, and I mean more, NVIDIA Shield stuff coming up. I've got another interesting little Chinese device for you. Actually, no, it's an American device. Yeah, it's made in China. It's all made in China now, but... Uh, another interesting Kickstarter device that I picked up coming up uh, real soon, so hang in there. Thanks for watching. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos